Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating history of tumbling and acrobatic moves with a special focus on the evolution of the trampoline. So buckle up and get ready to bounce through the centuries with us. Early Acrobatics For centuries, humans have been obsessed with getting airborne and performing acrobatic stunts. One of the earliest devices used for this purpose was the springboard, which allowed performers to leap high with minimal effort. Another popular device was the leaps, a narrow wooden plank supported by blocks at both ends. This was a favorite among court jesters in the Middle Ages who would use it to entertain royalty. Birth of the Trampoline The basics of the trampoline as we know it today can be credited to a Frenchman named Du Trampoline. He was a former trapeze artist who adapted safety nets and experimented with spring suspension systems to create the earliest form of the trampoline. However, it wasn't until the 1900s when circus performers made it a feature attraction that the trampoline gained widespread popularity. Modern Trampoline and its Introduction to the U.S. In 1936, American gymnast George Nissen developed the present-day trampoline. Interestingly, trampolining became popular in the United States during World War IE as it was used for recreation, physical education, physical education, and pilot training in the armed forces. After the war, Trampolining was introduced to schools, universities, and organizations like the Imke Paiuka as a competitive sport. Competitive Trampolining The first unofficial trampolining contests in the U.S. took place in 1947, with official competitions beginning in 1954. International events started in 1964, leading to the formation of the International Trampoline Association. In a trampoline competition, Trampolinists perform two routines, one compulsory and one optional, with scoring based on difficulty, execution, and form. The winner of both events performs another optional routine to determine the overall champion, therapeutic and educational uses. Since the 1950s, trampolines have been used by visual therapists and special education teachers to improve vision, balance, and coordination in students. However, in 1977, trampolines were removed from public school physical education curriculums due to a negative report from the American Academy of Pediatrics citing injury risks. Trampolines today. Despite potential risks, trampolines remain a popular source of exercise and fun at home. Many trampolines, called aerobic rebounders, were introduced in 1975 as an indoor jogging aid and are used today to improve stamina, strength, and coordination. Just remember to always practice safety precautions while having fun on a trampoline. And that's a wrap on our journey through the history of tumbling and acrobatics and the evolution of the trampoline. We hope you enjoyed learning about this fascinating sport and its various uses. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more exciting content. See you in the next video.